Don't get excited, I'm not that funny. I'm in a terrible mood, and you guys aren't helping. <laughs> it's up to you to make me like you. <laughs> I'm in a terrible mood. I, uh, I don't know what it is about me that people just feel like they can say whatever they want to me with impunity. I just have one of these faces. People look at me and they say, what the fuck's he going to do? <laughs> Everyone's got something to say. Yeah. Everyone comes up to me on the street, people with no provocation. A guy came up to me on the street today, he said, uh, first thing he ever said to me, he said, you look like Stephen Colbert, <laughs> except I don't like you. <laughs> That's not how you introduce yourself to a person. The worst one I got was uh, somebody told me I looked like Hitler, <laughs> but without the charisma. <laughs> pretty bad, right? What do you guys think? Shout it out. You can't hurt me. Bring it on. Who do I remind you of? Come on. Tell Harry Potter scar. What was that? Oh, you, sir. What was that? Harry Potter without the scar. Without the scar? Okay, well, I could show you. But, uh, <laughs> what, was the, what was that one over there? Tall Harry Potter. Tall Harry Potter? Now you're just being fucking sarcastic. <laughs> Anyone else? Rick Moranis. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm never doing this again. I'm never asking this question again. Harry Potter is the one that I get the most often. I've been getting it three times a day for 15 years. Do you, do you have any idea how depressing it is to be told every day of your life that you look like Harry Potter? It's a constant reminder of how different my life could have turned out. <laughs> if I hadn't missed that fucking casting call. <laughs> the truth is, is I just I look like Harry Potter if they just forgot to tell him that he was a wizard. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you about myself. I mean, I've been getting mugged a lot lately. <laughs> You're all going to hell. I, uh, I get mugged more than you're supposed to, I think. Like, whatever, whatever is appropriate, it's way more than that. I, I, what am I going to do? I can't defend myself. I mean, I, I, half of the people in this room pose a serious threat of bodily injury. I'm scared of all of you. I don't even worry about guns. Just anybody bigger than me. I mean, the, most recently, the guy did have a gun. But... Uh, I guess he got a look at me and he realized he didn't uh, need it. <laughs> I had a rough interaction with a homeless guy one time. He um, came up to me and asked me for money. And I always get a little cagey when that happens. I don't really know what to do. So I just lied to him. That's my big move. I said, I don't have any cash. And I don't know how he knew that I was lying, but he clearly did. Because he looked at me with this very sad expression on his face and he said, listen, man, you don't have to lie. Just because you're not homeless doesn't mean you have extra money. That's fine. You don't owe me anything. Just treat me like a human being and be honest with me. And I was really moved and ashamed. So I took out my wallet and I gave him a couple of bucks. And then he punched me in the neck and he took my wallet. <laughs> For ruin of the moment, I thought. You guys all know while we're here, we heard for the city of Flint, Michigan, going through a hard time. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out. I thought you deserved more than that, but it's fine. I, uh, I know I must seem to you like just another privileged, rich, white guy, and I am. But I get it. I understand adversity. And just to show you that my heart's in the right place, because I've been through a lot, sometimes baristas are real sarcastic with me. Just to show you how I understand what's going on, I want to make a pledge tonight that until the city of Flint, Michigan has running water again, I will use no tap water for any purpose. <laughs> I'll just drink Pellegrino, whatever. <laughs> I'll brush my teeth with Fiji, I don't care. I'll fill my jacuzzi with Perrier, what? I don't care. Because something's got to be done. Inequality is whack. <laughs> I 
I think I hate the internet. <laughs> and I know that I'm late to the party on that, but I, I hate the internet. I, I just figured it out the other day because I took one of these BuzzFeed quizzes. Do you guys know this? It's terrible. It's supposed to tell me, am I an extrovert or an introvert? And it turns out that I'm a pervert. <laughs> I don't like the internet that much. My grandfather loves it. My grandfather loves the internet. He's 92 years old. Doesn't know how to use it. I was scrolling through Facebook yesterday and I saw his password as a status. <laughs> I wish that was a joke I had written. That happened. I tried to report it, you know, to get it taken down, but it wouldn't let me because it's not technically hate speech. His password's the N-word, but it's just a cool thing. <laughs> It's a benefit, what do you want? <laughs> I went to a kind of a touching wedding recently. It was great, I, uh, a friend of mine who's been paralyzed his whole life was able to walk down the aisle at his wedding thanks to the use of this new robotic exoskeleton. It would have been a beautiful moment if not for his nephew in the front row yelling, you're a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. I like that one more because it's true. I've been thinking about politics a lot lately, as has everybody. Go politics. I, uh, I, kind of, I don't know a lot about politics. I've tried to educate myself a little bit. I'm a big fan of President Obama. Big fan of President Obama. I'm a little worried, though, because he's so cool. And presidents, after they leave office, tend not to be that cool. They don't have such great careers after they graduate. Like, I would like to see somebody top the White House, and I think he should be the guy to do it. Like, how great would it be if Obama just became a movie star? After he left office? It'd be pretty great, right? Like, too many actors go into politics. Not nearly enough politicians go into show business. I would see any movie they put him in. It would be phenomenal. Obama smoking weed with Seth Rogen. <laughs> Pineapple Express too. Obama beating the living shit out of Ben Affleck. <laughs> and Batman versus Superman versus Obama. <laughs> I had a rough childhood. I was abandoned by wolves and raised by Jews. <laughs> I like to throw that one in there now and then to remind people that I'm Jewish in case you're blind and stupid. <laughs> Actually, in all seriousness, half of my family is ultra-Orthodox Jews. Don't sound so fucking surprised. I, uh, you've seen them. They're, they're all related to me. Sometimes I have a hard time explaining to people what my childhood was like. Like, um, every children's book that you ever read, I did not read that children's book. <laughs> I read the illegal bootleg knockoff Brooklyn version. I read the lending tree. <laughs> I read green eggs and that's it. <laughs> A series of unfortunate events, 1939 to 1945. <laughs> Thanks very much, you guys.